Hello, my name is Rick. I'm the middle-aged rocker just back from an astronomy viewing session last night, so I'm pretty jazzed up. Got the telescope out here still. Whoa. <laughs> Thought it would be a good opportunity, since there were some kids out there last night, to do a real quick video in my video series on astronomy about what is the best telescope for kids. Now, real quick, uh, funny story here. I digress back to when I was a little boy. I actually have a picture of myself with an old refractor telescope at the window of our old farmhouse out in the country here in Oregon. Now that telescope was great, but there wasn't a lot of instruction that went along with that and how to use it. And of course, my older brother and I, being boys and very rambunctious, ended up knocking that telescope over several times and breaking it. And of course, I took it apart too, um, as boys are known to do, maybe sometimes <laughs> girls. So um, that telescope, I want to give you a picture of it. And I'm just going to, I don't actually own one. It's a very simple refractor. And it's the red telescope down in the lower corner. Now, if you're going to give a telescope to a child and allow them to keep it in their room, I recommend that you get them one of those because they're inexpensive and they can play around with it and uh, do it without adult supervision. But the telescope that I personally recommend is would be a smaller version of one of these. This is a reflector telescope, a Newtonian reflector. This design comes from Sir Isaac Newton, but it's actually mounted on a Dobsonian base, which is uh, actually named after another inventor by the name of John Dobson. What it allows you to do is get a very big telescope mobile. This didn't used to be an option up until mo uh, fairly recently. So this design, very efficient. You can get smaller versions of this. This is actually an 8-inch tube. These go all the way down to a 4.5-inch tube, and that would be an awesome scope Mom and Dad, if you plan on keeping it in your bedroom or somewhere under lock and key, away from the kids, um, regardless of what you decide to do with, with the scope, which one you get for your children, I heartily recommend that you be active participants in the hobby with the kids. Because you're going to be able to go out with them, it's going to be an event, something very special. You get some education, you provide the education to the kids, it's a lot more fun and less frustrating when you can find stuff. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you found it informative. Um, there's a whole series, very short astronomy related videos. I hope you check out. Um, go to my YouTube channel and subscribe if you found value in this. Also, please like and share. Uh, making fun videos and actually making a business of it is something we encourage you to check out if it's of interest to you. And more information on that is uh, available at www.workwithrickandanna.com. Till the next video, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.